Let's look at one more example here of simplifying an expression by combining like terms. Here we have 5. 5 times this quantity, n minus 2, subtracting 7 times this quantity. The way to proceed or start is to undo these parentheses by performing the operation here, which is multiply, and then performing the operation here, which is a subtraction of 7 multiplied with this. So using the distributive property with 5 and distributing it over the subtraction would mean 5 times n and then, and then 5 times 2 and subtracting their results. I'm going to draw little arrows indicating what I'm multiplying with. So 5 times n gives me 5n and 5 times 2 gives me a 10 and then I'm going to subtract their results. So that one was the easy part. Let's look at the subtraction of 7 times each of these. So here we have the subtraction of 7 multiplied with n. That looks like that. And then the subtraction of 7 multiplied with this addition of 8. The best way to think of this is to keep the operation of addition here and to realize the subtraction of 7 times 8 can be written this way. Negative 7 times 8. So what we have here is 5n minus 10 minus 7n and then adding this negative 7 times 8 which is a negative 56. So at this point we can combine like terms. This n is a like term with this, so we're going to perform that operation with the 5 and the 7. So in your mind, you should do this, 5 minus 7, n's are occurring, and subtract 10 and add negative 56. All right, so this leaves me with negative 2 n's and minus 10 added to negative 56. So you may want to come off to the side and write what is a, a minus 10 or a negative 10 added to a negative 56. Hopefully you agree that's a negative 66. So what we have here is negative 2n and minus 66 there. So that's a subtraction. Um, of that 66.